Oh, hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion. And what do I have here? I have the Intel DZ87 KLT 75K motherboard. And the reason why I'm a little bit sad is, believe it or not, over the last couple of years, Intel has been actually raising the bar with their motherboards at least. They've come a long way. And unfortunately, they announced that this is going to be the last of the Intel branded motherboards. Of course, all of you have been expecting the Haswell launch. This is their flagship motherboard for the Haswell K processors, the 4770K and the 4670K. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and hopefully Intel will go out with that. Okay, so now that we've actually seen the box, let's really take a closer look at the box. If you look at the box itself, of course it has the Intel logo, desktop board, it has the denomination for the board which is the DZ78, uh, boy, DZ87, KLT-75K or the Kinsley board. We have a picture of the board on the front, we have a picture of what appears to be some atoms and of course what will you make? So I make of this maybe a surfer or something like that. But in any case, this board is built for the fourth, fourth generation Intel Core processors. It has a three year warranty. It is an extreme motherboard. Let's go ahead and look at the back of that. On the back, of course, it just gives you some specifications and a board layout, etc. It also shows a picture of Intel's visual BIOS and it has Thunderbolt on it. Of course, it's Crossfire and SLI certified. Before I actually go over the layout of the board, let's look what comes inside of the box. So I'll move the box over to the side here. You're going to get a nice skull mouse pad. Of course, an integration guide. This does come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so you have a dongle and you also have a Wi-Fi module. This is Bluetooth also. Now, I'm going to give you a tip on this. Whatever you do, this gets plugged in to one of these black USB ports here on the bottom. Do not, because it's blue, think, oh, Bluetooth, let me go ahead and plug it into the blue. That's not going to work. This is an IEEE port. If you put it in there, you will definitely set your board on fire. So you don't want to do that. Of course, we have the back plate for the I.O. And it has an SLI bridge. So moving along, let's go ahead and take a look at this board here. If we'll start from the top and we'll work our way towards the bottom. So as you can see here, this is an 8-pin power connector. You also have a 3-pin uh, fan, con fan control. This is a, a heat sink for the VRM. Of course, you have the two heat sinks here. Another, a, a fan connector, another fan connector. You have a third fan connector here. So there's a lot of fan headers on this board. Right here, of course, you have your four ports for your, for your memory. Of course, DDR3 memory up to 2400 it's certified for if you are overclocking you don't want to go over 2400 uh, even Intel states that the socket itself is a new socket it's the 1150 so we're no longer at 1155 we're at 1150 right below the socket you have two more two more fan ports here you have your 24 pin power connector and a USB 3 connector. Now everything on this board is native now. Basically you have two, four, six connectors for SATA and this is an actual, this is an as media for an extra two ports. So you have six native. 
You also are going to get US, native USB 3 on this board. So let's go and look at the bottom here. This right here is an MSATA port. You have some, uh, you have another fan connector. Well, actually, that's not a fan connector. That's for the consumer IR, I'm sorry. USB port. Of course, you have your, your display here for your, for your boot up. Two more USB ports. This is a fast charge USB port. IEEE and audio here. Of course, you have another fan connector. One, two, three. You have three PCI E times one ports. One, two, three PCIe X16 or eight, and then one regular PCIe port. If we go on the side, right here is where you're going to be plugging your mouse and your keyboard. If you have a PS2, it still has a PS2. This button here is back to BIOS. Once you click on that, it'll bring you to the BIOS. So if you get a bad overclock and you want to get Go ahead and use the BIOS, just click on that. Then as we can see, we have the IEEE port here. Two USB 3.0s on that one. It is dual LAN, Intel LAN, with two other USB, USB 3.0 ports on it. We have an HDMI port right here. Your sound with your optical out also. And this is the Thunderbolt on the board. When we look at the back of the board, of course, you can see the plate. Looks like a regular motherboard from the back. Now, you also, with this board, are going to get visual BIOS. Intel's visual BIOS is a uh, new UEFI BIOS. Uh, you might have seen it on the last board that they had on the, D on the DZ77. So they have. Uh, use that again and it is quite nice it has a decent interface to it and of course we're going to be doing a visual bios video for all of you to see but other than that as you can see it's fairly well made it's got some nice heat sinks on it thank god they didn't go back to those little anodized little things that they used to plug onto there uh, one thing that I do like about Intel boards, it actually has a speaker on the board. I kind of like the speakers. I don't know, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I like the speakers on the boards. So, what we'll do is I'll go back over to my workbench there, and we'll give you the rest of the lowdown on the board and its performance. So, stand by. All right. So, we've just taken a closer look at the Intel, and I'm going to read this off the box because I can never remember the numbers, the DZ87KLT75K. This is an extreme board, of course, and you know it's for their new core processors, the fourth generation. It has some very nice features on it, has some nice heat sinks and everything like that. Of course, you're getting everything native now with this board. You know, all the USB ports and everything, uh, USB 3.0 ports are native. It does have two extra SATA ports for you, which are on an Asmedia connector. And, of course, it has MSATA on it. And, of course, you have the, the, the Wi-Fi module that comes with the board also. So it's, it's got a lot of features to it. It's not a bad board. Visual BIOS, I thought, was very good. Um, it was intuitive enough to where... I didn't have to think about things. The only thing I didn't like about Visual BIOS, I'm kind of used to a little bit more tweakability, I guess you could say. Intel uses some, oh, let's look at it this way. Of course, it's Intel. Since Intel's making the processor, they use their own terminology, and it's terminology that we might not be, be used to, like ring voltage and different types of voltage. So. Make sure you read up and find out exactly what that stuff is when you get this board if you decide that you're going to use this board. Because you'll want to know what inside the BIOS you need to change in order to get there. Of course we did a visual BIOS uh, video so there's no problem there. I kind of went through and showed you what the different things were. I really didn't explain too much about ring voltage but basically you know that the PWM now is on the processor. It's not on the motherboard. So that's what ring actually is. 
There's a lot of fan connectors on this board, so you got some decent fan headers and everything like that. But unfortunately, I found that in Windows and with a couple other things, the board was a little bit quirky with me. I had to do a little bit tweaking on it in order to get it right. Uh, I did update the BIOS a couple times. So we're going to go ahead and give this board a silver award. And the price on this is going to be $229. It's a very good buy from Intel. It is, unfortunately, also the last round of boards that they're going to be making. Intel has stepped out of the board making and they're going to allow their partners now to do it. So we'll have to wait to see what that brings. Are we going to have, you know, different Intel chipsets? Or are we going to have manufacturers making their own chipsets? There's much to be desired there. But in any case, this is a good board. It's good quality. We'll give it a silver award, $229 as a retail price. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember, with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it at High Tech Leech, you might not have seen it at all. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get more great videos. Visit us for the full review at www.hightechlegion.com. You can follow us on Twitter, tweet about us, twitter.com, front slash High Tech Legion. And of course, like us on our Facebook page, facebook.com, front slash HTL Reviews. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>